Mesdames et messieurs, maintenant pour votre final art de l'épreuve 15, le 100 mètres d'eau dame. Introducing your finalists, swimming in lane zero from Club de Natation de Riverain, Marie-Pierre Couillard. Swimming in lane number one, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Brooklyn Snodgrass. Swimming in lane two, representing the University of Manitoba Bisons, Mackenzie Glover. Swimming in lane number three, representing the Point Claire Swim Club, Alexia Zepne. Swimming in lane four, representing the Windsor Essex Swim Team and University of Toronto, Kylie. Swimming in lane number five, representing Oakville Aquatic Club, Dominique Bouchard. Lane six, representing the New Market Stingrays, Danielle Hanus. Swimming in lane number seven, from Island Swimming Club, Hillary Caldwell. Swimming in lane eight, representing the UBC Dolphins Swim Club, Samantha Correa. And swimming in lane number nine, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Ingrid Wilm. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your finalists in the women's 100 meter backstroke. The favorite in this race has to be Kylie Moss from Windsor. The 20-year-old broke four Canadian records this winter already in the short course and the long course pool. She qualified first last year, however, and faded the third in the final. So there'll be interesting psychological games that she's got to overcome to beat this woman here, Dominique Bouchard, who was able to win last year, go to the, Com go to the Pan Am Games and win a silver medal in the 200-meter backstroke. In lane number six, Daniel Hannes of Newmarket, the powerful club under Alan Swanson. And way up in lane number seven, Hillary Caldwell. Also, with the gold medal in the 200 backs will depend on this. Two likes in the pool. This is the final of the women's 100 meter backstroke. The Phoenix standard qualifying time, one minute point two five seconds. Well, Mass this morning was 59 low, so if she could come anywhere close to that, she'll destroy the record. The, really, the question really is if Moss stays on her form, who's going to finish second and can they get to that standard? They're heading down the pool. They will hit the wall, turn over, and have less than 50 meters to go in this women's 100 back final. And off the wall, it is Moss Bouchard and Conwell. One, two, three. And that's exactly how everybody figured it would play between the three of them. Who is going to come in first place? That's really that's the big question at this point. Lane number five, Bouchard is known for coming back very strongly. She's a 200 meter backstroker and she's putting the pressure on Kylie Moss at this point. But right now it is Kylie Moss and Bouchard battling to the wall. Just over five meters to go. That time is one minute point two five. Kylie Moss touching first, and her time is 59.06. The time. Bouchard is 59.96. Two tickets for Rio, if you will, please. Well, that's a great swim by both those women, particularly Dominique Bouchard coming back on Kylie Moss. Kylie Moss, as I said, last year these two swimmers were head to head as well, and Moss wasn't able to come up with that position on the Pan Am team. Went to the World Student Games, got great experience, won a gold medal there. She's come back here, done a best time. A little bit slower in the first 50 than the preliminaries, but she's able to get to the wall and finish and make her berth for the Olympic team along with the veteran Bouchard. On the start, the swimmers try to clear the water with those new wedges they have. Dolphin kicking underwater, but you can see that white line very subtly. They must surface by that point. Moss had a great start. She was a third of a body length ahead of the swimmers at that point. And at the 50, there was really nothing in it. The swimmers were all very close. Good technique. And now at the wall, Bouchard tried to put a push on it, but Moss's last 10 meters were great. Misjudged the wall pretty badly, actually, there. Kylie Moss did. Bouchard in for second under the standard. So two women going to Rio de Janeiro in the 100-meter backstroke.
And that time for Kylie Moss, 59.06, a new Canadian record. She held the old one, and that's the second best time in the world this year for Kylie Moss. 59.06, 59.96 for Bouchard. Both of those swimmers will qualify for Rio and the Olympics. Hillary Caldwell gave it a shot, 1 minute point two one, and winds up in the bronze medal position, but will not qualify for Rio, they can only take two. What a swim from Connie Moss and Dominique Bouchard.